Aloha, intuitive healer, author, and warrior for your wellness, Trisha Gumberg, coming to you from Hawaii. Pele, what is her message? I did an extra post a couple of days ago, and I was talking about anger. And the reason why my interpretation of Pele was anger uh, was because of the heat. When I do intuitive readings, heat is an indicator of anger. And so I had asked us all to look at our lives and see if there was anywhere that there was a anger that we could transmute and uh, change the energy. I uh, just watched a video of a native Hawaiian woman explaining her interpretation, the culture's interpretation of Pele. And that is that Pele is cleaning house and that we need to respect that and to honor that. So I'm going to take her message to me as saying, where do I need to clean house? Do I literally need to clean my house? Like spring cleaning, right? Where in my life do I just need to clean? And now we've seen this, uh, it seems devastating and horrifying and awful, but if anybody remembers Yosemite and the devastating fires that rip through there, and because I, I seen the aftermath and it, 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 it hurt me and I was very disturbed by it uh, driving through the park. But, but the, the park bounced back to be even more beautiful than it had been before. You know, some plants only regenerate after um, an intense amount of heat is when uh, the seeds open. So the fire is very cleansing. And then another reminder, if you hear that sound, when the water drops back from the lava rocks, Sorry about that. Um, these nice round lava rocks <laughs> created by Pele, yes, uh, makes that delicious sound. So that's what I'm going to think about. Instead of adding um, fear and afraid feelings to what's going on, I'm going to remind myself uh, the beauty that the fire um, will create. And yes, of course, support the families and do donations, I will be doing that as well. And now the message from the Basset Hound. I couldn't find where these two symbols matched, <laughs> so we're just keeping them separate for today. Basset Hound kept uh, popping up, and so I looked up the characteristics of a Basset Hound. Uh, one website said, all the training goes out the window for a Basset Hound if children are around. Um, Fun, another website said, fun to the point of clownish. And then another one said, stubborn. They explained that, you know, basset hounds are bred as a hunting dog. And when they, uh, their nose is on an interesting scent, they put their nose down and they follow the scent. They do their job and there's no calling them back. <laughs> They're doing their job. Their head is down and they're doing their job, and then humans decide to call that stubborn. Interesting, right? <laughs> and then another interesting characteristic of the Basset Hound is that they're very independent. They love to play, they're very calm, and they love people, but they're very independent. That's one of the characteristics I appreciate about cats, and I suppose it because it reflects um, me and my in independence. I'm very independent. And so that makes me feel okay about myself. Now this, the, the independence part, reminds me about the number one, as I am a one. And because we're in 2018, remember that equals an 11. And so independence. So I ask you, if you can be independent in your thinking, like don't worry about if you're just, how do your decisions affect another person. Um, obviously, you know, being not being, um, I, we need to be keep kindness in mind. Um, but aside from that, uh, can we independently make 
housekeeping decisions for ourselves. Ask yourself that. Can you be independent in making your decisions or do all your decisions, um, are you weighing how it would affect someone else or what someone else would think about it? Uh, I admitted yesterday to a group of people that do not know me my um, empathic ability and it kind of stuck in my throat a little bit um, to say that to a room of strangers and I got strange looks. I got, you know, kind of sideways glances and, you know, some jaws dropped open. <laughs> um, and that doesn't matter. It's my truth. And um, a couple of people in the room appreciated my message. So ask you again, how is your independence? Can you stand into who you are? Can you make uh, independent decisions to honor yourself? Uh, we're going to get chances. If that hasn't been illuminated already for you, I trust that it will be illuminated to you in 2018. And of course, our bottom of the belly breaths. Uh, us here in Kona, we're going to have to be mindful about our breath and our clear air. If you look out over the ocean with me, um, if you see a little haze, uh, that's what we call vog. Um, and sometimes from a distance you can't see the ocean because of the fog and we need to uh, open it, be um, opening up our, our chests uh, in a nice reclined position and I'll post uh, photographs of that below and even if you're not in Kona I encourage you to try those restorative yoga positions while you're doing your breath okay Thank you for your time. Remember to take time out to do your bottom of your brother breaths. Let's do a few now. I just got hit by a wave, so it's time for me to go. Know that I love you. Until next time, aloha.